Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Prefix 46. Prefix today is dis, D-I-S, as a word beginning. Okay, and we got seven meanings and seven uses today. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. The prefix dis comes directly from Latin, meaning apart or away. Uh, usually having a negative or opposite effect, you know, related to most of the meanings. All right, let's continue. Our first meaning is either to deprive or expel. All right, so to disbar, of course, means to officially stop a lawyer from being a lawyer, usually by taking away one's license. So if you take away this license, you're doing both. You're depriving him of being a lawyer, and you're kind of expelling him from the, from, you know, law, basically. So let's continue. Here's our example. Several past presidents have been disbarred. Okay. Uh, second one, second example here, disqualified to make ineligible for something. When they found out he lied on his application, he was immediately disqualified. So again, he was kind of expelled or deprived from continuing in this activity. All right, the second one, the meaning is more against. So if we say to dissuade, dissuade means to persuade against doing something. So it's the opposite of persuade. It's probably really to persuade somebody not to do something or to persuade against. <clears throat> All right, here's our example. We tried very hard to dissuade him from doing that. Okay, good. All right, disbelief. All right, so it's against the belief. Uh, unwillingness or inability to believe. And here's our example. She was in a state of disbelief. It couldn't be true. All right, the third one here is, uh, this has to do with if you fail, fail to do something. So disagree. Well, basically disagree means you fail to agree. Oh, uh, you basically have a different opinion. And here's our example. We disagreed over price. Okay. Uh, second example for this one, dissatisfied. Well, to fail, to satisfy. She was dissatisfied with his work. Sure. All right, number four here. Uh, the meaning is more like away or apart. Okay. Uh, our first word is disperse. If a crowd disperses, they separate and go in different directions. Well, that's what you're trying to make them do. The example, um, they spray tear gas to disperse the violent protesters, to make them separate, to make them go apart. Or to dislocate, to force a bone away or out of a normal position. His shoulder uh, dislocated in that accident, so it went out of its normal position. It was away or apart from. Okay, um, number five here, do the opposite or reverse. So our example here is dis. Uh, disconnect, okay, to take away a supply of gas, electricity, or water from something. So the example is they disconnected his electricity because he stopped paying his bills. All right, number six, the meaning is not. So discontinue basically means to not continue, to uh, stop providing a product or service, okay. They discontinued that menu item, so it's not there anymore. And our last one, the meaning is more about incorrect. And the uh, word is disinformation, to be incorrect information. Here's our example. The news story is disinformation. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.